Welcome to Multiplication Facts in 5 Minutes. These lessons will be provided in short 5 minute lessons. Sometimes facts will take two parts to complete. No memorization is needed or very, very little memorization is needed to learn the multiplication facts. This curriculum works great for children with all types of learning disabilities, especially children who have working memory issues. An ebook is available for purchase that goes along with and explains in more detail the curriculum. Uh, this is a proven curriculum that has been worked with lots of students who have been extremely successful using these strategies. It is without a doubt the best curriculum out there to teach multiplication. A couple things that you do need to know when you start the curriculum. Um, I do recommend that you provide some incentives to students working through the curriculum and give them uh, some treasure box items or some treats. However, before they are allowed to receive their treasure box item or a treat, they need to give you the secret code. And that should be established from the very beginning. And the secret code actually helps them learn one of the multiplication facts that is more difficult. And they don't find this out until they get to that lesson. But the secret code to get into the treasure box so that they can earn their treats is 6742. You tell them that in the beginning and you help them remember it. You uh, give them the code over again whenever they ask for it, uh, except for when they need it to get into the treasure box. Then, of course, they can't ask for it then. Uh, but you remind them 6742 is what's needed to get into the treasure box, and they will learn it because it is motivating for them. So that is the first thing I recommend. The second thing that is very important is the order of the lessons. The lessons are designed to be in a specific order um, because the commutative property is used so that if 3 times 7 is taught in one lesson, then 7 times 3 will not be taught in another lesson. So the order in which you do the lessons is important and we also work from the easiest facts to the hardest facts. So you can see here that the 0 in 1 lesson is done first, then the 10 and 11 lesson, then times 2, then 5, then 9, then 4, then 6, then 8, then 7, then 3, then 12 is the last lesson. You also need to provide practice after each of these lessons. Again, the ebook does a really good job um, explaining exactly how to set up practice for these lessons. They should be cumulative. They shouldn't be just on the facts that they have learned. So they should be, if you're doing, say, times nine, you should ask them times nine facts, but you should also go back and include times five, times two, times 10, times 11, ones and zeros and the details of how much of that information from the previous facts should be used again is provided in detail in the available ebook that is for purchase for a nominal price. So I hope you enjoy these lessons. I hope they're helpful. If you have any questions at all or comments, please feel free to email me and um, I hope that your child is successful in learning their multiplication facts.